Michigan's pictured rocks National Lakeshore when you encounter thieves planning to steal artifacts from sunken ships or what happens when a family reunion at Grand Canyon's Phantom Branch quickly turns into a weekend of thrills, chills, and almost a spill? Well, these are mysteries and more. They're all part of the National Parks Mystery Series written by Lansing's own author, Mary Morgan. Welcome into Studio 10. Thank you very much. We are so excited to have you here. We're big readers here on Studio 10 and big travelers too. And clearly you have a passion for traveling. You've been to all 50 states. Yes. 61 national parks. Mm -hmm. uh, what made you want to kind of write about them in this unique way? I went to a writer's conference trying to find my niche for <laughs> how to write, and they suggested write about what you love and what you know. <laughs> and for me, this is my passion. Yes. yes. And I like kids to learn, so mm -hmm. I write things that are good for them. Right. So it's putting two uh, together. Mm -hmm. And what's cool, too, is that you by traveling, you can research these places you're going to write about. Do mm -hmm. you talk to rangers when you're out I, there? I find an interview, uh, a, a ranger who's willing to be interviewed, and they give me the inside scoop. So I put stuff in that you won't learn otherwise. Wow, we got it. You need to work for Studio 10, <laughs> be an investigative reporter for us. <laughs> uh, but the most recent book that you've written, it's called, the, it's about Mammoth Cave, which mm -hmm. I've been there before. Highly recommend it, by the way. But this one involves a shark tale. What's going on in this one? During COVID, when they had to shart, shut down the park, uh, rangers and geologists went to the 450 feet level, and they discovered the fossil remains of 40 unnamed fish and sharks the size of great white sharks. Wow. So the ranger who I'd been working with said, got with me and said, Mary, change your story. Make it a shark tale. And we have it. It has just been a winning idea. <laughs> that so. is so interesting. I would have never thought that. Now now I'm like on the edge of my seat. I need to learn more. <laughs> and so, you know, obviously we're talking about you want kids to learn. Right. That was one of your missions doing this. So, and these books make a great gift for the holidays. What are a good age range for the kids uh, and these kind of readers? Generally children 7 to 11 or 12, depending on their reading abilities. Gotcha. Yes, they're very easily understood, especially if they're read with parents. Mm-hmm. And it's, and it's a great conversation starter mm -hmm. because, you know, you can talk about these places and maybe the kids can visit them on a family vacation. They do. They take my books <laughs> as a travel guide and they find the things that I mentioned in the books. Yes. And you also have uh, some books, too, for our, our smaller readers out there. Mm -hmm. Some pictured books. Uh, the Runaway Lawnmower. This is in English and in Spanish. Okay. And they, uh, there's a hidden worm on every page and downloadable coloring pages. Wow. So good activity. Right thing to do for the kids. Oh my gosh, so much fun. So many ideas. Uh, since I have you on here and you do love to travel and to write, any advice that you have for those that are at home that you're like, I want to travel, but don't think I can, or I, I'm, I'm too busy. What, what advice would you tell them? I would say if you have children, find a location that is good for them, manageable time-wise of their interest, and it will make your trip a whole lot happier. Yes, and, and, and maybe taking advantage too when you're out in National Park, mm -hmm. always ask questions. Yep, and find, get the Junior Ranger book. Oh, yeah. And that makes the trip much more enjoyable for your children, too. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm so excited. You've sparked so much in it. So if people do want to order these books for the holidays, mm -hmm. uh, what's the best way to do that? Uh, order from my website, nationalparkmysteries.com. I autograph each one, and I will personalize it to a child. All right. And I will get it to them for Christmas. That is great, yeah. too. And I know, too, is that, you know, if, if people want to get a hold of you, we put the, your your um, website on there mm -hmm. and the, the phone number, but you'd be great for uh, oh, school, school, visits. Re school visits. During March's reading month, yes. All right, so they can mm -hmm. contact you and yes, do that. Thank All you. right. Oh, my gosh. Well, this has been so much fun. I'm going to take a look at this volcano. Lava Chasers at Volcanoes National Park. Maybe I'm going to start reading this during the commercial break. But thank you so much for joining oh, us. And keep pleasure. up the amazing work. Thank you so much. All righties. Well.